Okay. The compensating foot is good for sewing top stitching. Say like you've got your seam allowance and you've pressed it to one side and you're gonna top stitch. Now, one good use for uh, top stitching this way is to reinforce the seam. Say like you're making a bag or something. If you push that seam allowance to one side, do an additional line of stitching, it's gonna make the bottom of that bag nice and, and strong. So I'm putting it in so that the edge of my seam allowance is right next to the edge of this little springy piece on the foot. Put that down there and this is different than your quarter inch piecing foot. The quarter inch piecing foot has sort of a blade here. The uh, compensating foot has this sort of rounded toe which helps slide over the fabric a little bit better. <clears throat> but the nice thing about this is gonna give you a nice straight even top stitch. So as you're sewing, you're gonna be watching right here. And I've got kind of a longer stitch length for top stitching. Often you do have a longer stitch length. And I'm going slow. I could go faster, but as you're getting used to your machine, it's better to have a slower uh, stitch speed. There we go. And there is our nicely top stitched seam using the compensating foot.